But to get into even the the Kabbalion here, which isn't a ancient text, it's not as ancient as uh, Hermetica, but it also goes into this whole process of cause and effect as well, where it says, quote, the Hermeticist understands the art and methods of rising above the ordinary plane of cause and effect to a certain degree. And by mentally rising to a higher plane, they become causes instead of effects. The masses of people are carried along, obedient to environment, the wills and desires of other, other people stronger than themselves, heredity, suggestion, and other outward causes, moving them about like pawns on the chessboard of life. But the masters, rising to the plane above, dominate their moods, characters, qualities, and powers, as well as the environment surrounding them, and become movers instead of pawns. They help to play the game of life. Instead of being played and moved about by other wills and the environment, they use the principle instead of being its tools. The masters obey the causation of higher planes, but they help to rule on their own plane. In this statement, there is condensed a wealth of hermetic knowledge. Let him read who can. And in there, they're very much on a more basic level understanding the reality of cause and effect within our own lives. And the whole process of creating a routine, creating these beneficial habits that are to eventually lead to the outcomes that we want to achieve is very much this. When we don't have a routine, when we don't have a system for ourselves that will help us lead towards something that we want to achieve, we get stuck in the flow of time, where time becomes something in which we become. We become time itself, time passing, where we don't actually create action in the world, but we just drift with time. And then we get stuck in these, the effect of others, where we become manipulated or we work jobs which, which we don't enjoy, but we're more comfortable working them because we can't figure out how to break the codependency of being a part of the state, for example, or being codependent of the things in which we have grown into through maybe traumas or any of these types of things, of escaping the routine to, to build something to escape the mundane aspects of life. And those mundane things, you could say, are the aspects of our life where we don't have control of our life. 